What's going on YouTube? Clay Kizolt back again with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius update or video or gameplay, whatever we're going to be doing here. The new update is here and before we get into this video though, I'm sick. I'm very sick. I think you guys can hear it. It's up in my nose. Uh, my face is more red than normal. My eyes are all redded out from allergies. It's like a sinus infection or something. So I'm sorry if it sounds disgusting when you hear me like kind of talking through my nose and things like that. It's the best I can do and the show must go on so I had to keep going. So new update is here uh we did get some compensation no idea what it was for i got a lot of i got like a thousand eight hundred lapis i don't know what it was for but i got some yeah so uh, maybe crafting i don't know so uh we're gonna this video is about expedition i haven't even clicked this yet this is the first time i'm going into expedition so we're gonna learn this together we're gonna have some fun we're gonna see maybe if we have the same expedition missions or if there's something a little different between us so you can tell me in the comments below but let's see Embarking on expedition. Units can embark on expeditions for a chance to obtain rewards. Select expedition, select units and resources. Uh, then you do it and you get something cool. Yada, yada, yada. Wait, enable. Okay. While a unit is away on an expedition, parties uh, with it cannot depart on other quests. Oh, okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, it does take them away. So, I only have one expedition? What? I want more expeditions. Okay, so I can get a Metal Gigantoir. It's going to take 10 seconds to do it, so I'm assuming that maybe we'll get some more after this. Uh, Relic Hunting Craze 1. It's a rank D, so let's click on it here. Uh, let's see. We only need to take one person. Uh, we get 1,500 to 6,000 unit experience. We get a Relic Coin, which is cool. Uh, and recommended we need to take an FFBE character. So uh, let's go in here and find an FFBE character to take with us. I wonder if I can sit. Okay. 100%? Oh, we're gonna sit, let's get Sky High in there, dude. Sky High's going. You can autofill. I didn't even see that. So we could have clicked autofill and depart. Go, Sky High, go. Oh, man. It shows it? Oh, wait. No, she just like went away. Okay. So traveling, 100% success rate. So we're definitely going to win this. This must be like the, uh, the, you can only have four of a time. It looks like one out of four. Complete. So now we're going to click on it. Uh, we open this. We open up our treasures that we got, which is pretty sweet. Uh, okay, for that there, I was like, is it not gonna open? Did it somehow fail at 100%? Success. Nice. Uh, let's see, let's see what happens now. So we're getting some things. We got a Metal Gigantor like we knew we were gonna get, and a Relic like we knew. So that's pretty cool. A reward should be sent to your message box, so you do have to claim them, it seems like. Skaha got some, uh, uh, leveled up, got some of that. I don't, I guess we maybe could have taken somebody that didn't have their 100% TM to see if they got TM up, uh, but I'm unsure on that. Oh, okay, so that's the Explorer. Uh, thing or whatever the the, the, the really good uh, accessory that we can get up to 40% for all stats So let's go ahead and get that 10 seconds again only takes a hundred. Uh, I'm gonna see what this autofill does for me <laughs> All right, I'm down for that. I'm down for that uh, So uh, we're getting relic times one again, uh, and then we also get the cool accessory or material I don't know which one it is. We're gonna find out here in a minute. Uh, there we go. Get in there Magitech dudes. Let's go uh, That was pretty funny. I think um, so traveling do, 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 do. And then we're gonna get this uh, thingy, which I don't know if it's a uh, materia and accessory or what, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna go ahead and skip that animation since we've already seen it. Okay, recipe. Wait, 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 wait. Recipe all the way up to Adventurer 5? I thought we only saw Adventurer 4. So it goes even higher. Okay. All right, so we need to go make that. So what I'm gonna do now, Bigs and Wedge, <laughs> uh, is we're going to, uh, that's 10 seconds again. So we'll get that in a minute. We'll go back and see what that is. I'm gonna go ahead and see what these recipes are and how much they cost. So we need to go in here and claim all the expedition rewards that we have. Um, go to crafting, which now is instant apparently. So we can see if we can make any of this stuff yet. Let me see, go to crafting, da la la uh, sh Equipment, I'm assuming. Um, then we're gonna go to accessory? Uh, let's see. It's an ability, isn't it? Is it an ability? If it's an ability, it won't be special. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, there it is. So it is an ability. So it is in the accessory slot. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to have to, like, like wipe my nose a little bit. My, my apologies on that. But... So it, it is an ability, so it's a materia slot. It's not going to be in your accessory slot there. So that's pretty cool. So what do we have to do to make this? We need 300 relics to get a 10% one. Woo! All right. All right, so then how do you make the second one? You need Adventure 1 and 4 and 50 relics. Okay, so this is going to take a lot of grinding. All right, so how about Big Daddy? Big Daddy number 5. How much do you cost? No, 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 no. I want to see how much you cost, not how awesome you are. 1,200 on top of everything else. So, you know, doing that all over again. So that's going to take some time. How many do I need? 300. So let's go back 
to the explorations because we don't know like that one relic a turn maybe we'll get something that, that are more than just one a turn maybe get like 10 20 30 i don't know but it seems like that's going to be some hella grinding but that's going to be way worth it for you guys and it looks like you can make more than one right because there's no reason you can't there's no there's nothing stopping you from making more than one so what is this what do we get here uh autofill oh 90 percent all right we're gonna chance it we're gonna chance it with the 90 percenter i feel it it auto filled it in like that we're gonna see what happens I still feel like these are tutorial ones. I'm assuming this little hourglass is going to make us be able to make expeditions go faster. That's what I think. So uh, we'll find out. We're going to get complete here. Woohoo! Give me that gold! It's like gold rush. Advanced token five, advanced coin three. So there's two different things here. Can I, we got a bonus. I wonder what the bonus was from. And we got one relic. So we haven't got any more relics than we had before. Uh, let's figure out what these advanced tokens and stuff are real quick. Yay, everybody went up. Woohoo! I didn't see the TM go up, though. All right, so speed ups. Here we go. They're going to explain it. So, um, expedition list can be refreshed to display three new expeditions daily or with the use of Lapis of an Ancient Coin. So, the expedition list can be refreshed to display three new expeditions daily or with the use of Lapis or an Ancient Coin. So, we need the Ancient Coins to be able to refresh the page and get uh, swap out all normal expeditions for three new expeditions, or we can use Lapis. So, you're going to be able to pay to play a little bit right here uh, soon. Excuse me again. So, uh, speed ups uh, expeditions can be sped up uh, with the use of an advanced token so it looks like we can use those to make us go faster which we knew that so now we know what the coin does let's see what we got so we have uh, heavy objects collide we got can't beat free and then we got might what might happen so we're gonna go in here we get some sacred crystals which we need um, can we auto fill it to 90% that seems good we'll send them off how long is this gonna take uh, let's go back no, no no let's go back I forgot to look and see how long it was gonna take uh, eight hours all right, so none of them are going to be that quick, I guess. Cause, so we're going to autofill. 90% is good enough for me. We get two relics this time, which isn't the best. But remember, this is D. We want to move up to, like, I think there's an S tier ones, too. So we'll depart here. And then I don't understand this. Consume items to increase success chance. Body boost. 90% uh, is good with me. It costs 3,000 gil. We're going to go ahead and send them off on their adventure. Go. What was that? Golbez, Krill, and uh, was that Terra? All right, all right, all right. Oh, my. There are more. What? So this is a different one. This three hour one, I didn't even know I had. So we're gonna send out on there. 80%, that's bad. Oh man, look at Fencer. We're gonna take out, wait, is it only FFBE people? Oh, they have a great helm. So we're gonna go ahead and swap. I want this to be 100%. So what about Delita? How do you feel about taking Van out for Delita? What does that do for me? 80%, what, does it put the best that you can get? Does it tell me any better percentages as I go down this list? Like does Wilhelm give me a better percentage? I mean, he's a boss, let me see. 20%. These are 20%. I guess that's the highest I can get without using something else. So it doesn't appear because uh, none of these people here have um, have uh, any kind of equipment. Like, I know Fencer and Vaughn don't have any equipment. Van doesn't have any equipment. So equipment doesn't matter here, it looks like. Uh, it's just the characters. Uh, maybe the star level does matter. Unsure, but I can only get up to an 80% here. But we're going to go and try it. We're going to see what we can get here. It only takes three hours. Two Pearls of Wisdom to make it uh, increase to 100%. I'll do that. Puzzle wisdom aren't that rare. I have 256 of them, so I think I'm okay to use two. So we're gonna go ahead and depart here. I think that's cool that it adds that little bit of item thing in there to make it like, well, I could make it a little bit higher or not. Okay, we keep getting new ones. Uh, okay, so I don't know what that item is. It looks like a little milk thing uh, that I said before. So we're gonna go ahead and send people off on these. Uh, yes, yes, please use those to make it 100%. We don't need any more water, Chris. We can get those from friend, uh, friend gifts if we need to. Uh, where are we at right now? Okay, uh, heavy objects collide. Autofill to 90%. Go ahead and do that. Oh my gosh, look at these characters we get to use. And use a high potion, yes. Galoof, Klein. <laughs> like, come on, dude. These, these teams are. They, they keep coming. Oh no, these are all the ones I'm already doing. Okay. There's some new ones here still, though. Okay, so these are the ones that are all going. You can only have four at a time. So this is all we can do for now. But these are all the ones we could have done. Okay, that's cool to know. So we have uh, Farmer's Dismay, which I still don't even know what that is. Uh, random Awakening Material. Okay. A random unit awakening material, which units could potentially could be untapped. So that's just gonna wake it up a unit. That's pretty cool. And then we have some more of the um, the sacred crystals here uh, for people running out. I think I'm low too. Does it tell me how many I have if I scroll over it? Uh, no, it doesn't. But I think I'm low on those too. So we have a couple of three hours one here and an eight hour one. I'm assuming as we. Oh, what is this achievement status? Okay. Units bring back relics after successfully completing expeditions. Rare expeditions grant more relics. Okay. Okay. Every week, the number of relics earned for the week will be tallied up. 
and upon reaching each milestone, you'll be able to claim the respective rewards. All right, so this is even on top of everything. I've got it. I noticed that. Um, that's cool. So let's see what they are. So to uh, S relic uh, relics awarded, if we go to an S tier fight or an S tier thing, it's going to give us five to eight. Um, to get the rewards for the end of the week, we need to uh, get up to 160 to get this. Are we going to trust Moogle? Okay, that's a 5%er, I think. That's a 5% trust Moogle. At the end of the week, as long as we get 160 relics, we'll be good. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, we get a rare summon ticket. This is weekly, 100 Lapis, 5 Metal Gigantuars. Not bad, not bad. I wonder how we get the S tier to start showing up, though. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go to new again. So we have a C there, which is awesome. Do we have any Cs on the ongoing? Yeah, we have a C on the ongoing. So, guys, this seems amazing. Uh, th these, like, if they stay the same, I don't know if they will. Maybe weekly they'll change. But the fact that every week you can get a 5% trust move, a rare summon ticket, 100 lapis, and some metal gigantors for free, just sitting your units out, not even worrying about them. And you can see the units we saw sent out. It was like all bum units, like all the little bad units. I mean, this Grand Theft uh, one, we did send out a Gilgamesh. But besides that, I think we could replace him with any other 20%er, as you guys could have saw. So uh, this is amazing, super cool. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know if you guys got the same missions down below, okay? I really want to know that. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you guys got the same expeditions or if they were different. And if any of you guys out there have seen an S tier yet, and then subscribe for future content. We'll catch you guys in the next video.